So Josh the Mover says, hello, Jonathan, why do early biblical figures live for so long? Many hundreds of years in some cases. I have heard a few different takes on this and am curious to hear yours. So it's not, it's not that early. So the idea would be to understand that it's not early biblical figures. It, it's, it's very specifically pre-Diluvian figures. And so before the flood, there, it, you, you really have to understand the flood as a change of worlds. The flood is the end of a world. And so there are many things which help us to, let's say there are many markers which help us understand the difference between what's there before the flood and what's there after. And the number of years, my the best understanding that I have of that is that it has to do with the notion of completion. So you have this sense that a thousand years would be the totality. And so you have these characters that die short of a thousand years you know, for different reasons, it, their sins make them, you know, die short of a thousand years or something like that. Um, and so I think that it has something to do with that. It, and it also does really create the sense of, create the sense of a different world that we don't totally can not completely connect with, that it's a world of greater men. It's a world of, of, uh, of more encompassing men, men that, men that had more reach in terms of their being, you know, um, that were closer to the to the top of the garden, right? That even though they fell, they were still higher up on the mountain, the cosmic mountain. Um, so that's the way that I understand that.